ABC's LGBTQ alphabet book is pure child grooming. The babies. Okay, okay. Let's do this one. Because I, let's, okay, real quick. We've never talked, I don't think we've ever actually talked about S Salty Cracker to any extent on this channel, but this guy is just 100% the cringiest person you can possibly imagine. And I'm gonna show you why. Look what, let's, I've not watched this video. This is a live reaction. Gay BC's LGBTQ alphabet book is pure child grooming material. Now that's a pretty, motherfucking massive accusation. So let's find out what this is all about, shall we? Let's see what funny content Salty Cracker has to bring the for us. ABCs. Cabinet owners, because when- I didn't do a cringe. I just, it's just not gonna make any sense to anybody watching. I'm gonna make Danny do more work. I'm sorry. A few okay. years ago, when I was a lefty in California and they were doing your kid's sexual orientation in kindergarten, and I was sitting there going, that guy's Christ. You're good. That dude's crazy. You didn't ruin it. Don't I worry. I didn't Dino. understand. Just... I did not understand the agenda. I couldn't see yeah. the plan. I had very limited scope because holy shit, in a very quick amount of time, the gay video. Woman has little boy read the gay BCs, a children's book with terms like bi, coming out, and I have to be careful with this. I can't believe I have to be careful with this because my channel saying that- Oh no! This person, this, uh, this responsible adult read a book with words like bi in it. Oh! This word, that's going to be hate speech, even though these people identify with this Literally, word. Literally, so I'm to... telling you, all of these right-wing channels are massive snowflakes. All they do is freak the fuck out about completely inconsequential nonsense. They will be like, uh... The word gay was uttered within a 20 mile radius of a child and it was literal child rape. That's what they do. Take that, Google robots. And uh, the reaction is swift. Quote, this is full on child abuse. Yeah, this is insanity right here. Remember, for the right, palling around with Jeffrey Epstein, not child abuse. Reading a book to your kid that has the word bi in it, child abuse. Uh, walking behind the Teen Miss America pageant and looking at the naked teen girls, not child abuse. Reading a book that has the word transgender in it, child abuse. These people are idiots. Their entire view of the world is so distorted and so dishonest that they literally live in an alternate reality. An alternate reality where actual child abuse doesn't matter and fake made up child abuse is all that matters. These people have meltdowns over Mr. Potato Head. I can never get this word correctly, but in this video what you have is a woman broadcasting on her social media platforms of choice how great she is because she's teaching what's probably a four or five year old over here, the gay BCs. Is this Manchausen's? Munchausen's? Munchausen. Whatever that disorder is, where the grown ass adult, a woman with arrested development, pushes her mental instability onto her kid. That's what you're. Mental, mental instability is reading your child an educational book about gay people. And, and I'm not going to lie, Salty Cracker makes Alex Jones sound sane. When Alex Jones is like, the goblins, the goblins are coming to take your children. Hillary Clinton is going to literally, literally, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm losing myself here. I'm very, very sorry. You understand that Hillary Clinton is a literal demon. And, and the demons are going to come out from hell and they're going to kidnap your children. And at least you're like, oh shit, the demons, the fucking goblins are coming. With Salty Cracker, he's like, this woman read a book and it's, oh, I can't handle it seen in this situation this is one of these women who keeps running around gobbling up all of the critical race theory and she hates straight white oh critical race theory is coming for your children this woman is reading a book to her children meanwhile chad alex jones is over here like no literally H hillary clinton is going to cut open her stomach and a bunch of baby goblins are going to dump out and they're going to be well they're not really goblins you see they're more like uruk -hai. you understand the uruk -hai, they don't burn in the sun it's really amazing but it's horrifying and so you know it's more like that and oh uh, uh, you just gotta we gotta prepare for this everybody we gotta prepare now please buy my brain force plus pills and then Salty Cracker is like, hi, everybody. I would really love it if you would help me fund another Star Wars uh, collector's edition mug. I really want a Chewbacca call. I want a Chewbacca call. I, you know, you blow in it, it goes, 
so you can mate with Chewbacca? Oh, I really want one, guys. It's a one of a kind, only $10,000 from Disney.com. You can help me now fight the gay agenda with my fucking Chewbacca mating call. Thanks, guys. Please uh, hit up my Patreon. Males, and then she had a straight white male, so she's going to fix that. <laughs> she's going to get some of these, these, uh, <coughs> excuse me, books, and uh, change this kid's mental state. Okay, gay BCs, here we go. A, a video of a woman having a little boy read the gay BCs, a children's book that uses the letters of the alphabet to introduce readers as young as four years old to LGBTQ words, has been making quite a stir on social media. The, the video begins with the little boy reading aloud the word or the uh, word for letter A, quote, ally. Yeah, yeah, Aracella. Listen, it's, it's really hard for Di Walt Disney Corporation to reproduce the exact sounds of a Chewbacca mating call. I'm sorry. Ally. Hey, this is, you cannot teach children the alphabet in this fashion. This Why doesn't make any sense. Why bother putting up this video if it's just blurred? You can't take something like a letter and attribute it to a vague notion. Ally. This is fucking hell. <laughs> this book is not about teaching children the ABCs. Because that doesn't... What? What? Don't work. No four-year-old is going to understand what the hell the word ally means. And th this is before we get into some sexual orientation problems over here. Which is why forever, when we're teaching the ABCs, we link the letter to something concrete like A is for apple. A is for alligator. B is for bat. Because you don't have to explain. You don't have to go into the sex... I'm sorry. Hold on a second. Hold on just a second, real quick, real quick. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna blow the fuck out of this guy. Anybody remember the, uh, uh, what's that guy? There was this really great series, uh, of ABC books that were like, yeah, I think this is the one. Is this the one? Anybody remember this shit? The dinosaur. Yeah, this is the one. Jerry Pilata. Whoa. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, uh, why did it have to be an Amazon? Wait, it's this one. Jerry Pilata. I'm making I'm making Gina work extra hard on this one. <laughs> I'll, I'll don't worry. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Look, this is the one. Yeah, here we go. This is the fucking one. Look at this shit. This was a book I read when I was a kid in school. Z is for Zagorhiza. Notice this sea mammal had a neck. Today, dolphins, porpoises, and whales are beautifully streamlined so they can swim faster. Zillions of plants and animals lived on Earth and then became extinct over the last four billion years. Imagine how many other species will be extinct in the future. Let's hope human beings never become extinct. True! 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 Guess what? Guess what, everybody? Those are the ABC books. You know, you know what's hard? What do you think is harder to understand? The word gay or the word Zygorziza? Zygorziza. Z I don't even know how to say that. I can't even say that. I don't, I don't hear fucking Salty Cracker having a meltdown over this. Do you think it's just because he hates gay people? You think that might be the reason? You think that might be the reason? Hmm. Hmm. Sounds like it might be it. It is inevitable. Yes, it is inevitable. Sexual orientation of alligators or bat. You ain't got to break down the taxonomy to explain to the kids. You say A is for apple and the kid goes, oh, I know what an apple is. I have an apple every day. Right? But when you move into this type of shit where these lefties are pushing with this book, how do you explain this stuff? They go in here, B is for bite. How do you explain B is, to buy, B is for bite to a little kid? without? Here, I'll explain it to a little kid just like I will explain it to you. Salty cracker. Buy is when you like both boys and girls. Or, if you want to use a little more modern definition, it's when you like people of the same gender as yourself and people of another gender. There, two things. Super, super simple. Wow. Yo, wow. That wasn't hard. I know it might be hard for you. I mean, I think you maybe want to make some space in your head get out some of that fucking Star Wars Monopoly knowledge and make some room for some meaningful knowledge, but there. I helped you. Explaining sexual orientation. C is for coming out. D is for drag. G is for gay. I is for intersex? How the hell are you going to explain intersex to kids? You have to, you have to talk about- Intersex is super easy for kids. Hey, here you go. Watch. I'm going to do it right now. Hey, intersex, sometimes, due to the way that children are formed, sometimes people are born with, uh, they're born- 
between the sexes, and we call that intersex. Bam. Chromosomes. <laughs> you're going to talk to a four-year-old. Four-year-old don't understand the fucking alphabet, but you're going to explain basic biology and chromosomes to them. That shit don't make any sense. And of course, it doesn't hey, need to make... Hey, guess what? You don't even have to. You don't even have to explain it. Do you want to know why? Because they're just trying to learn the letters, you fucking idiot. Any sense? Because this isn't meant at face value to teach children about the alphabet. It's a me it's all about exposing little children at the age as early as four to these sexual orientation to these terms. You're grooming children on this type of. That's not what grooming means, you absolute clown. This is why I say they're all snowflakes. Literally, a children's book is being equated to grooming. These people, people like Salty Cracker make it impossible to actually talk about child sexual abuse, which is a very serious topic, by the way. And people like this and this guy and Matt Walsh and all of these other fucking idiot clowns, they make it impossible to actually talk about it because in their mind, reading a book is child abuse. I mean, maybe maybe for Salty Cracker, reading a book is so painful that he associates it with, with, with child abuse. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't be so judgmental. Maybe reading a book is so painful that when his parents read him the ABCs, he started crying blood. Nonsense. And you've got mentally ill people like this mom who is out there. Why, why would you call this mom mentally ill for reading a book? Virtue signaling how great she is by exposing her kid to this book. She, she ain't teaching this kid the alphabet. She's showing everybody how woke she is. She is sacrificing her child upon the altar of wokeness on fucking Twitter for the digital backclaps. And you lefties go out there and you run protection for this. Look at this. Here, here's a small sample of the type of kickback that you get when you start screaming that this is insane. Quote, I don't get what like homophobic people find so toxic with videos like this one. You're grooming as a small child. You're grooming. You're, that's not what grooming is. That's not what grooming is by the way in light of us of us having to go over basic definitions like grooming lately you know how we had to talk about that on monday i just want you all to remember that um while occasionally literal children on tumblr will falsely will make the wrong um allegations and say that people who uh, people are grooming people who aren't grooming people literal children adult men on the right will say that reading a book that vaguely references gay people is grooming and they will say that with a straight face with absolute seriousness this is how fucking upside down their brains are a small child under the guise of teaching at the alphabet fuck you everyone sees what's going on Quote, wow, the child like probably going to grow up to be like respectful that people can be different in so many ways. Oh my. Oh, haha, now he's doing a gay voice. Get it? God says, I can't believe. This is like brainwashing. It is brainwashing. And, and, and here's how you know it's brainwashing, you dumb prick. You're trying to shut down opposition to this, to people talking about sexual orientation to little children. No, they're not. They're, bre they're reading a book. They're reading a book. What do you mean? No one's trying to shut anyone down. They're reading a book. You're the one having a meltdown! By slandering us as homophobic. I don't give a fuck about anybody's sexual orientation. They as didn't as call you homophobic! You called her mentally ill for reading a book to her kid. No one's called you anything, but I will. You're obviously homophobic. You're blatantly and obviously homophobic. Only a pathetic, embarrassing homophobe would have a meltdown over a woman reading her book, reading her child a book. Is consenting adults do whatever the fuck you want but once you start explaining to little children the sexual or probably ate a stardust orientation of this type of realm i got a huge problem and the fact that i got a huge problem with it you try to shut us down by calling me homophobic get bent we fucking coming we're going to expose this type oh, of oh no he's got salty cracker is coming for you uh oh oh shit be careful he'll uh uh he'll get you with his um dangerously thin wrists and his um weird nerd neck he can do a lot of damage careful with his yeah with his vitamin oh oh no oh shit the fucking oh no the chewbacca call arrived he's gonna call in the wookies fuck nonsense this is, a, this is our problem with all of this nonsense that you idiots are doing you're gonna have uh, if you ever open up the kindergartens at this point you're going to be having drag queen story hour where you've got dudes. Oh my God. 
Drag Queen Story Hour was like two years ago. They're still mad about it. Oh my god. I, they're so old. Like, I can't even believe how fragile these fucking people are. Got a criminal record. Go look at all of these people who've been invited to schools who aren't allowed to be around kids because they've been arrested and have sexual assault. Yes, obviously Gra Drag Queen Story Hour was perfectly fine. These people are just, they melt down. Charges against minors with them, and they they reading little fucking kid books in public schools, and everyone thinks that's just fully fine. We're gonna be reading the gay VCs. Four year olds shouldn't be talking about sexual orientation. Dude, you shouldn't be having you shouldn't be talking on YouTube if you can't even fucking keep your words unslurred. This is gay VCs. Drag queen story hour. Just as big. Who are you to be making fun of people with a gay lisp with your voice sounding like that? You sound, you sound like someone fucking shoved a fucking bike horn up their ass and is trying to communicate using English with an ass bike horn. That's what you literally sound like. If you found me some sort of fucking book where you had straight people, um, B is for bondage, or um, I, I can't even think of sexual orientation shit for. for sh you tried. I can't even think of things that I would do with a woman if I ever had a woman i mean i have mrs salty mrs salty cracker but she doesn't let me near her after the incident tradies but it, it doesn't matter the sexual orientation don't talk about sex don't use sexual terms around kids don't expose little children to this if you're going to teach them the abcs just teach them the fucking abcs and if you don't do it we're going to call you out this stuff is nonsense this what i this person goes this kid's going to be like super how many times do you think this guy said the F word to children? He's like, don't talk to kids about fucking. <laughs> Fuck. He says to his audience of 11 year olds. Super tolerant when he's a grown up. I don't think so. I, I think this kid is in a lot of trouble. He got a fucking parent. You know, this is this angry single mom. <laughs> is this guy drunk? Is he drunk? Is he drunk? I'm over here. Oh, I can't believe I had a straight fucking white male. I'll fix that. This kid gonna be all types of fucked up because this mom is fucked up. Hi right, everybody, thank you so much for watching the video support channel. You want to be kept up to date. <laughs> oh. Thank you so much for watching the video support channel. Thank you. And out. Just kidding, I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. Fuck that. I fucking hate these people. Holy shit. I absolutely motherfucking hate these people. Yeah, it's racist Boomhauer. Holy shit, these people are terrible. And then literally the the number one comment is imagine what she does to him while she's not filming. Literally just accusing this mom baselessly of being a pedophile. Lol, the odds of that child killing his so-called mother in her bed in the years to come just went up. Dude, what the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with these people? Every single one of these parents should be put in prison or worse. These poor innocent children. This makes me sick to my stomach. Almost as bad as the puppet in the beginning. Parents like this need to have their kids taken away. The most unprotected part of society is sadly our children. Dude, you could not, you literally could not have a worse choice of words there. Gay fe my my mom once compared you to Trump because you say holy fucking shit a lot and apparently that's the same thing as Trump saying we should genocide Mexicans. Someday maybe I'll say hello to your mom and she can she can well, maybe wait, will your mom give as much as she did to Donald Trump for me being like Donald Trump? That'd be cool. Tell her to support the Demon Mama pack now. My five-year-old has a quote-unquote transgender student in her kindergarten class. In reality, he's a little boy, but obviously his abusive parents have brainwashed him. It's sad to watch. These parents are mentally abusing, confusing, and honestly disturbingly teaching a toddler about any sort of sexual orientation. Communism must be eradicated by any means necessary. Listen, 
I know I don't need to tell you all this. I know I don't need to tell my audience this, but since this video will be going up on YouTube and probably a lot of Salty Crackers whiny little baby fans will probably come and watch it, this community is off its fucking rocker. They are literally calling for this parent to be killed because she read a book about the gay BCs. They are, they are advocating for every single one of these quote-unquote parents to be put in prison or worse. These people are fucking off their fucking rocker. Do you realize the fucking people in this audience? What the fuck? Oh my god. I'm glad we watched I'm glad we watched Salty Cracker because it's nice to just remember that uh you know we need to do this more often. We need to do conservative react more often because if 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 you spend too much time just hanging out with other lefties, you forget how fucking bonkers the right in America is. How just genuinely unhinged. They are a bunch of fucking hooting hogs pointing guns in the air and threatening to kill parents because they said the word gay around them once. Oh my god. Oh. I'm gonna lose it. 